hello guys at the end of this video you will you will able to see this project where you can see that this is the point A uh, this is the direction and this is the point B total distance 3.5 miles and total ride time which is 21 minutes here you can see that in the JSON for duration is 21 minutes which I plotted on the UI and distance which is to 3.5 miles which you can also convert in kilometers and that's it this is the my final project now I am creating a project on Google console and enabling direction API and distance API let's have a look go to google.com and in this search write Google console and here you can see that I'm inside the Google console and it will load and after that I just go to the my projects and here I created a new project here you can type let's suppose Omar Farooq TV and then selection in organization is an optional and created uh, I just created a project on Google console L let's go to the project settings by clicking select project and uh, let's see where we go and now here we are in the settings of the project and go to libraries and just type in here Google distance API I'll write distance only and you can see that distance matrix API is opened let's click and just click it and now here you can see that distance API is used to calculate distance between the two coordinates here are some description of this API you can see in the documentation this is basically to calculate the distance between the two coordinates two let longs it will return you the results of calculating distance I just enable this API in the project and now I am going to enable another API which is you can say that the direction API I just credential in the API here okay let's I am showing you the credentials uh, to create an API key I just created and now here you can see that API key is here where you can copy in this the this is the key basically to use in the project I just copy it to use in the project and uh, let's go to dashboard again to enable mm, the second API and the credentials Alright, in the libraries tab, all the libraries are listed. You can see here. Now I am enabling the direction API, which is our second API to use in this project. Okay, I just tell you one thing that these two APIs have some sort of uh, limit inside it now here you can see that the direction API is used to plot a direction between two points if you want to draw a route on the Google Maps then you will use this direction API these are the documentation you can read here well I, I was saying that uh, uh, these 
two APIs have their own limits if you exceed their quota limit then they will Google will ask you about the charge charges and they will charge you and they will say that you have to add a credit card to use more API requests